welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here thank you for clicking on this video today i'm here to answer one single question should we relax damaged hair or not i have this question a lot on facebook and i think that will make a great video maybe that can help somebody my answer to that question is yes and no i know before you throw tomato at me hear me out okay you can relax damaged hair but you have to know this point if your hair is damaged and you really want to relax your hair you don't want to go for big chop you don't want to go for extending period of transitioning into natural or wait your hair to grow out for an entire year it is possible all you have to do is wait a couple of months to wait to have enough new growth and you can relax this new growth safely it's safely relaxer safe relaxer safe relaxing your hair i know i repeat it and so many different ways you wait to have enough new growth to relax and you won't be relaxing previously relaxed damaged hair but that's not all and now you relax your hair you have to follow certain step and step number one as damaged hair always leave its trail behind like if you see a damaged hair you know it is damaged because most of the time the ends are raggedy the ends are very bad so first thing i will advise is to cut your damaged ends because that happened to me you know when your hair start to break enough so you start to have a lot of uh see-through and the ends are very raggedy if you haven't trimmed before so i know we tend to hold into bad ends because we know hair is a very emotional thing you don't go chopping your hair out of nothing okay so i know it can be hard remove these bad ends trim your hair because when you trim your hair you give your hair a chance like your hair won't be all knotted and matted at the ends and that will lead to more breakage so we don't want that now you relax your hair you trim your hair is a blank canvas like that's give you the opportunity and is the time to give your hair some good tlc because if you don't have a good regimen for that hair you better shave it okay so now you trim what is next and the next point is to avoid heat because damaged hair is very susceptible to heat and you will make more damage because what the heat does it create weak point to your hair so your hair will lose the thickness it will damage more your cuticle if you keep using heat and the third point is to incorporate bone builder or bone reconstructor to your hair regimen i have two options you can use the afro g2 minute reconstructor is a absolutely great product and is a very good product but you can also use all applied to speed of thing but consistently using one of these two you will gain your strength you will gain the health from your hair and trust me you will see you will see after a couple of weeks and after three months you will see a big change to your hair and the next one is to keep your game moisture keep your game moisture up our hair is naturally I would even say genetically dry so by keeping your hair moisturized you're giving your hair a chance to not be in a vulnerable position you will leave this moisture in you will keep your moisture in by sealing by moisturizing and seal make sure that all your basic is moisturizing like your shampoo is a moisturizing one your conditioner is moisturizing one and every time you touch your hair you put water on your hair it has to be moisturizing i'm talking about deep conditioner even you use you use one of these things always 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 follow with a moisturizing conditioner or if moisturizing deep conditioner so at this point i have no need to tell you you have to build a regimen because putting your hair in a in a bun like now my hair is in a bun but my hair is nicely moisturized but forgetting about your hair like putting a wig on doing any other protective styling that is the hair neglect okay you don't you won't be looking after your hair if you keep covering it if you keep hiding it if you keep shoving aside so you have to be in contact to your hair i'm not saying like you have to be touching your hair every five seconds but you need access to hair to moisturizing to scalp massaging to washing your hair every week if you can so if you can incorporate certain oil in your hair regimen that will help and the last point is really to be obsessed with health obsessed with health when it comes to building your hair regimen again when it comes of good hair habit like covering your hair at night time scalp massaging having a good diet if, like 
stay away from chlorine like pool situation really is to have a good hair habit and your hair will recover because after all the part you relax is the new growth my, my position is yes you can relax a damaged hair as long as you relax new growth you trim that hair and you give good good TLC to that hair and that should not be a problem so I hope this video has been a good help for somebody and please don't forget to like to subscribe and also to comment with you if you had a hair step back how did you overcome it okay I would love to hear your your comment I would love to answer them and I will see you very soon in another video bye